Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a file open, go to File, New, or use the keyboard shortcut by holding down Control and pressing the letter N on your keyboard and we will create, uh, it really doesn't matter what size uh, we make for this, but for argument's sake, we'll go with the US paper preset at 300 pixels per inch. And click OK, and our canvas will be created, and I'll zoom in on that by holding down Control and pressing plus on my keyboard, so it fills my screen. We need a couple windows open. We'll use the um, layers window by going to window layers and opening up the layers window and the tools window which we can get by going to window tools and you will see the tools window or the tools palettes up here and let's first go ahead and make sure our changes are made on a new layer so it doesn't affect the background and we'll just do that by clicking here to create a new layer on top of our background layer now the gradient tool is located sixth from the top on the right hand side of the tool palette and may be hiding behind the paint bucket tool. If it is, simply left click and hold down and you will see that menu appear and you can select the gradient tool at the top. The keyboard shortcut is G, meaning if I'm using another tool and I wanted to use the gradient tool, simply by hitting the letter G on my keyboard. I will be taken back to that tool. Let me show you how it works. Uh, using the presets that uh, Adobe has given us here, I'll uh, show you what the effect is. I can click with my cursor and you will see it creates a line and I can drag and when I'm happy with my selection I can let go and I will see a gradient appear. Now this is the diamonds gradient but we can change that up here. Uh, but the basic effect is that it's uh, changing it. I can show it better if I use the linear gradient. There we go. Um, Adobe is starting with the foreground color over here, and we have the background color over here, and in between it transitions very smoothly between those two colors. And I can change this by clicking differently and dragging differently on my screen to uh, create different gradient styles. I can also change uh, the styles up here. This is the linear gradient. We also have this neat uh, elliptical or radial gradient, rather, which looks like a circle. And we can do this either way. Wherever I click and drag, it's going to create the foreground color wherever I click initially. And when I let go, wherever I let go, that will be where the background color is. I can reverse this by clicking reverse up here and now it will be the opposite. And we can create some really neat effects. This is a cool effect and this is the angle gradient and by clicking and dragging once again. And what this does, it starts with the foreground color over here and moves clockwise into the background color. And you can create some uh, neat background effects. We have the reflection gradients here, which I'll have to um, do a bit smaller so you can see. And you can see the foreground color is in the center, and then it reflects out and it transitions to the background color on both sides. And once again, by changing how we draw this, we can change how it looks. And finally, the diamonds gradients which creates this box-like or cube effect. There's all the normal modes that you'd expect when working with layers in Photoshop, so you can play with those. You can also change the opacity here. So you can draw multiple images and uh, of course change the opacity of what you're drawing. And we can change uh, a lot more options by clicking up here on the gradient itself you will see the gradient editor open. 
and we have a bunch of presets up here which we can choose from this blue one here we'll look at as you can see it shows us the gradient down here what it's going to look like and so let's uh go ahead I didn't mean to click there but it doesn't really matter we'll undo that and uh, we'll click OK to use that one and let's see what it looks like with a linear gradient and we'll drag this across and of course it looks just like the thumbnail does blue into white and then this brown color I guess brownish gold color into the white once again and we can click on this and we can edit this gradient by simply clicking on the colors below here and dragging and you will see that changes what the gradient will look like this will create more brown area instead of the white and the white area will be much smaller we can delete these colors by simply clicking and dragging off like that or by clicking and pressing delete and you can see we can totally change the gradients we can drag these across how they look there's also this point in the middle here which will change how it transitions in between these two points we can change the colors of course by clicking here and then clicking down here on color and we can change this to whatever color we want for example yellow into red and we can click OK to see what that looks like and there we go and I'll show you one more neat feature here which we can change the gradient type from solid to noise and th this gives us a uh, real neat effect as you will see it uh, creates a uh, a rough well we can change the roughness here how um, sharp the edges of this are going to be and we can bring this down to make it one solid color or somewhere in between where it's a mixture of all these colors to change the order of the colors we click randomize down here and Photoshop will randomize those colors and the colors that it's working from is in this palette right here you can see we can select a range of colors for example if we only wanted um, some reds and we don't want any green we don't want any blue it will create um, this pattern out of just red and uh, a little bit of darkness here because we have some here or we can lower this and you will see it will now create it with just the red and the darkness we can add a bit of blue in there and uh, we can create all kinds of neat effects with this and let's go ahead and see what that looks like on our canvas let's pick a good looking one here sure let's go with that and we'll click OK and let's drag this out and see what it looks like there we go a very cool looking background and uh, we can create some neat looking effects by using the diamond tool or the diamond style rather so that's a quick overview of the gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com